Well, viewers, welcome back to the South by Southwest Bicycle Mod Channel. I hope you enjoyed that little 360 walk around. I'll be doing those from time to time whenever I add something new to the bike. Uh, this episode, we plan on start mounting all our street legal components onto the bike. And once we get them all mounted, then we can start doing the wiring. So the first thing up is the rear bumper. We're going to get that put on, even though it's not an actual bumper, but it looks like a bumper. It's actually a uh, rear tail light mount for the tail lights. So we'll be moving on to that and a few other things. I want to give a shout out to uh, Long Island Aid. He, uh, my last video, he made a suggestion about some blinkers up on the console bar. And uh, I appreciate that. I, I think what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to look and see what I can find for motorcycle uh, mirrors that have uh, blinkers on the, the mirrors themselves. I think that's a great idea. So thank you, Long Island. You just uh, gave me a great idea. And I like that. So you guys got ideas, suggestions, comments, put them down in that comment section below. I really appreciate it. Uh, Long Island, I believe, has a quadricycle as well. The same type that I have, the uh, Quadra Sprint. And uh, he's been a real inspiration for me. Uh, on all my builds so thanks at Long Island appreciate it so uh, we're moving on to the uh, rear bumper. Um, it's always better to measure twice make sure I mean I marked this out before I just want to make sure it's correct and this is my center let's see here what we've got that's 14 inches on center and 14 and 14 is 28. All right. There's 28 inches. Put that on center. Right here, I put some pin striping down. It's right down the center of the motor plate, so I know that's right on center. So, okay, so we're eight inches over the motor plate. And I'm about eight inches over the motor plate here, so that's perfect. And uh, we're inside the tire line. We're not uh, above the, uh, beyond the tire line, which I wanted to keep it inside the tire line. Uh, we probably get away with 24, but we need to check and see because those lights are fairly long. There's three of them. So, I don't know if you can see this, that's center, it's a center one, yeah 28 is about right. That gives us about an inch one inch spacing between the lights so I think that's going to work out just fine so 28 inches it is it's always better to double check measure it twice cut it once like they always say so I need to go in the other garage and uh, put this on the chop saw and cut this so we'll be right back well viewers we got this angle cut exactly 28 inches right on the money this is our center we need to cut that out because that once we cut that out is going to slide right up underneath onto the uh, on top of the uh, motor plate and then we're going to put some tech screws in it to hold it down and uh, that's it so I think I have a jigsaw with a metal uh, cutter and this is only eighth inch thick so I think I'll just drill a hole here and here on this side and then 
cut it on this side with the jigsaw and cut it this way and then cut it that way and then file it out real nice and neat. And then we'll have that. And then it's just a matter of, I gotta just make sure there's no wires there and there's no wires there, so that's good. So we can put a tech screw here and a tech, I think two tech screws on each side will do the trick. Some, uh, one, uh, I think they're one sixteenth, a quarter inch, three quarter inch long with the washer and this and the uh, quarter inch. So that'll be just about, we'll just, well, you know what? We'll just drill it through. Okay, so next thing to do is we need to cut this out. So I need to go back in a small garage and do that. So we'll be right back. Well, viewers, we went ahead and uh, cut our notch out and I uh, marked out some lines here. This is where the motor plate should end on each side. And this is where the frame ends on the end of the bike when we this is the center line so let's see how this fits right, let's see how this fits now it should just slide right underneath here i have a center line on here so i put put that on my center line in the center of this bar here so we have a mark here that marks out where the motor plate ends and this mark out here is where this ends so i put my holes, I marked my holes on the plate or on the bumper, so that looks real good. And there's no wires underneath here, and there's plenty of beef in there. So instead of putting tech screws, I decided to go with nuts and bolts. So I'm gonna have to drill through the plate anyway. So we're gonna go ahead and put nuts, bolts, and washers on it, and we'll use the, uh, the nylock bolts, two on each side. So the next step now, we know it fits great, next step now is to drill our four holes. And then once we get the holes marked in this, then we're going to set this in, lightly clamp it into place on each side where it needs to be and then we can mark our holes on the plate center punch them and unfortunately i'm going to have to drill this by hand with a hand drill because i don't want to, have to take this motor plate off <laughs> no way so uh that's the next step well here's we got the uh rear light bar put on it looks like a bumper, but it is not an impact bumper. So, uh, so we got the holes drilled. Now I need to center punch these and drill the holes through the plate, put the bolts through it, and then it's done. Then we need to figure out where we're gonna mount these. I decided I'm only gonna do two and uh, we're gonna mount, put the hole through it, put the hole so we can put the wires through it, so we can figure out where we're gonna mount these and uh, where to put the holes. So we have to put in two holes, and that's it. And then we can wire brush it, and then we're gonna paint it so it comes out something like that. Right there, this guy right here. So that's the next step. Move yours, went ahead and um, Drill the holes, we got the bolts in, it's good and sturdy. And that's what we wanted, real sturdy. So the next step is to uh, kind of lay our lights in. Like I said, I'm only gonna do two lights instead of the third light, because the third light has the wire coming out and it doesn't have the sticky on it. And it's almost impossible to put it on here. So we're not gonna use it. Two lights are just as good. So what I've done here, I put out a, that's about a half, a little over a half inch on each side. That's where the end of the light, I, where I want it to be. So instead of pulling off the sticky backing, I put this like tar kind of stuff on there. And that allows me to kind of just stick it on there temporarily 
to line it up to figure out where to put the hole for the wire. So we're going to do that next. Mark our holes, then we're going to take it off. I'm going to, it's better for me to drill these on the bench press. Um, drill those holes, and then we'll clean it up, put it back on the bike, take the bike out for a test ride, make sure there's no problems with the uh, with the set whatsoever. So that's what I do as I mount stuff. I always take the bike out for a ride, make sure there's no problems. I don't anticipate any problems, but you never know. Well, viewers, we got the... Uh, Dr holes drilled for the wires. The wires are through the hole on both sides. And just to show you how these wires are being routed, that space I left between the motor plate and the bar here, it, the wire is going to go right through there, go underneath, up in here. And same thing on this side. So we're looking good. So I'm going to I just want to test fit fit that make sure it looks right it looks good I think that's perfect um, so all I need to do now is take the lights off and pull the wire uh, pull the wires out and uh, take it for a test ride make sure there's no problem with the bumper and if it looks good then we're gonna go ahead and take it off and we're gonna wire brush it all down and paint it with that candy orange and clear coat it and then we can reinstall it and then we can install the lights. Next up will be the brake switch, which is gonna be a real challenge. Now I need to find some parts. I know I have, so I gotta go on a bug hunt and find some parts for the other end of this that goes on the actual brake, brake bar. And I'll explain to you more about how we're gonna mount this. So that's our next challenge. The brake light switch. Well, viewers, I just got back from my test ride and no problemos. Perfect. We're in good shape. So, go ahead and take this off now and wire brush it and uh, paint it up. I'm not going to bore you with that. But when it's all finished, I get it back on the bike, I'll show you the end result of that. Meanwhile, what you'll be seeing is working on this brake switch. So I got to go in the small garage and go on a bug hunt for the parts I need for the thin wire in the back because that needs to, we need to be able to adjust that wire and clamp it in place. So when I find all the parts, I'll share that with you and that'll be the next thing we'll, we'll be doing. Well, viewers, it looks like we got this kind of figured out. Um, this goes on the uh, brake lever bar. And so when you pull the brake back, it's going to pull on this, which is going to pull the plunger out and turn on the brake light. And this is totally adjustable. So what I'll do is um, I got two nuts there. They're... Um, they're, they got little like champers on it. Anyway, once I set it, I'll just bend it around and then tighten it up real good. Uh, either that or we put a small hole through the bolt, which that would be very difficult for me to do with the drill press I have because it's not that precision. Um, I think we can just bend that around the the, the two nuts there and tighten it up and I think that'll work so let me go out on the bike and I'll kind of show you how this well, works. Here, it looks like we got a winner here um, I need to trim this off there's a few little things I need to do I need to shim this up a little bit better put a nut and bolt through it so we can fasten it to the but when you pull on the the brake it, it's going to pull it this way that's the way we want to pull it so we have to set this fairly tight because there's not that much travel between the off and the, uh, you know, there's not that much travel. There's a little bit of travel, not much. So we have to set this fairly tight when we set it up. But uh, I can always turn it back this way to put more tension on it. 
you know, turn this back. So it looks like we got a winner. So all I need to do now is trim this off, find a bolt, some shim it up, tighten this all in, and screw this down. And uh, we need to bend this wire around on that. And um, we're all set. We're, we're good to go. Well, viewers, it looks like we got this thing kind of licked. Um, it's the plunger is moving in and out, so that looks good. And we got the adjustment on the plunger, we can do even more. So I won't know until I put a continuity tester on it and check the continuity when it's on. We should get continuity, you know, when the plunger comes out, we should get continuity, and when the brakes off. We should get no continuity so that'd be the way to check it um, we will take this bracket off and we're going to paint it candy orange sorry i'm not going to bore you with that so i'll you know get all these parts laid out and paint them eventually so this is pretty much licked so now we're moving on to the next thing that would be the horn and the uh, motorcycle switch that's next Well, viewers, we're going to mount this motorcycle switch on this side. And I like it like this because it's sort of upside down, but that's okay. It should be on the left side, but it'd be better for me to mount it on the right side. Because when I turn it, the blinker is right there. That way I can keep my left hand on the uh, steering knob and reach down in there and hit that blinker switch and uh, the horn now that the horn is a little bit of a problem because I got thinking chances are if I'm laying on the horn my hand might be on the brake so I found a uh, a really nice uh, horn that will fit right on the brake right here so we'll just Make this a little bit smaller here. This is fine because I could go all the way down to here. So we've got plenty of room and I can push on the horn. So I'll show you, uh, I'll share that with you, uh, the horn I'm getting. So we're still going to hook up this horn. So I have two resources for the horn. But chances are, like I said, if I'm hitting the horn, I'm on the brake. If I'm on the brake, I can't take the other hand off the steering wheel to push on the horn. So it just makes good sense to have the, a horn right here. So we can do that, it's no problem. I also found some mirrors that have, they're just like this mirror, except for it has that, that little uh, light that um, Long Island was talking about on here. They're 21 bucks, so I have to wait on that because I'm a little bit low on money right now. But uh, yeah, we'll definitely uh, be putting on the blinkers on that. And I can run the wires inside the tube, and drill a hole here and fish the wires through. So it'll be nice that way. So that's that. The horn, we're gonna mount the horn on the last, uh, we don't want it out here because it's gonna vibrate too much. We wanna put it on the, that hole right there on the very top. That way it's not gonna be hitting on anything and um, it should work real well for me that way. So we'll trim this off and then uh, mount it like that. So that's up next. So next two things we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and Mount our light switch, our motorcycle switch. And what I like about it mounting this way also is the wire to wrap around on this side because I don't have no wires running down here where I got all kinds of wires on this side. So that's perfect. So that'll be next. Well, viewers, I just thought I'd share with you. This is the, uh, the horn switch I'm getting. And I like where the wire comes out on the side like that. That's perfect and it's well made. 
they have another one that's cheaper but uh, I don't think it'll last very long and that one looks really nice and it'll fit right on that bar perfectly the brake bar so get that thing on order as soon as I get my social security oh, these are the uh, mirrors these are exactly the same kind of mirrors I have on it right now except for it has lights on the end of it for uh, blinkers so $21.99 $22 bucks. and I don't see free shipping so it's gonna cost me free shipping as well oh wait a minute no I don't know well, anyway uh, that'll have to wait until next month so that's something I can always do later well viewers we got the the motorcycle switch all uh, assembled on or installed uh, it was pretty easy to install because if you take the two screws out it opens up like an egg you know half and half and you can slip it over and then put it on so you don't have to remove all your I didn't have to remove any of this stuff on the bar just slip it right on over so it's in a good place I like that um, this allows me to keep one hand on the steering wheel where I reach it up underneath with my right hand to uh, turn the blinkers on and off left and right horn and switch now my horn button will be here tomorrow well I'll install that next when it gets here get that installed uh, that way like I said chances are if I'm hitting the horn I'm on the brake so it's just a good idea to have it there because other than that, if I'm braking, I can't hit the horn because I got to keep another hand on the steering wheel. So this is a good idea. Um, we got that done. We got the horn all mounted. It looks great. So the only thing we got left to do now is this is all the stuff that goes on to the front. The two headlights, the parking lights, and the turn signals. Now the turn signals, these are the four inch, they're going to go on this right here. But uh, I don't like this, this um, light bar, it's too low. I need to bring it up about three to four inches. Uh, that way this will lay up in there real nice. Well not that one, this one. That way this will lay up there real nice. Now these lights are very, very bright. You'll be surprised. And then these are the parking lights, which I believe I'm going to stick them right there on each side. And of course the lights. But I can't do anything to this till I go down and get some more L. Now this is only a 16th inch thick. I'm going to go to an 8 inch thick which is twice as thick as this so it's a little bit more stable so when I go up higher it'll be more stable won't be so flimsy so we'll take care of that so I'll go down lows probably next week when I get my check in and uh, we'll purchase that and get this all taken care of but that will be on the next episode so we got all, just this part down here. These parts here left to mount. We got the battery left to mount. And then after that, everything's mounted except for our relay switches, our terminal block, and our uh, on off switches. So, uh, I think the next episode we should finish up all the mounting and we should be able to start wiring this thing up. Unfortunately, I had to take the brake switch out. Uh, last time I was bench testing it, I accidentally dropped it. It was in a, I had it clamped in a drill vise and it fell off the bench onto the floor and apparently I damaged it because I can't I couldn't get any continuity on it so I ordered that as well so that'll be here tomorrow along with my horn button so when I get that we can take care of that too now I do have another switch 
but that's going to go on the other side uh, for the uh, cutoff switch for the motor. I didn't want to run the motor on the same circuit because that's a 48 volt and that's a 12 volt. So I didn't want any conflicts. So we'll just mount it. Um, I just want to make sure that I can make it work. If I can make it work, then I can do the same thing on the other side. Just duplicate it. That's it. So we're kind of at that point. I'm going to end this video and uh, I'm going to throw in a little music video I did. I do those occasionally from time to time to break up the monotony. Um, so if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. And if you like what you see, don't forget to mash that notification bell so you can keep up with this project. If you have any concerns, questions, suggestions, leave them in that comment section down below along, along with criticism. I'll take some of that too. Uh, criticism usually helps me make my videos a little bit better. And um, don't forget to subscribe and mash that notification bell. And like I always say, if I can do it, you can do it better. Thank <laughs> you.